the medicinal value of unripe purple water to poultry and livestock. If you're a poultry farmer and you are battling with coccidiosis, Samolina, avian influenza, foul pulse, Marek disease, Newcastle disease, chronic respiratory disease, CRUD, bacteria dermatitis, enteritis, and foul cholera. This particular content is for you. If you know, don't know what all these diseases and infections I mentioned here means, if you are having black poultry droppings, reddish poultry droppings, greenish poultry droppings, meat colored poultry droppings, this particular video is for you. All your bears are not growing. They are having raw food feather. They are not agile. They are not smart. They are not moving fast. They are always clustering one particular location. This particular video is also for you. And if you are bears are not gaining massive weight, this particular video is for you. Here is the usefulness of unripe purple water. If you touch purple water, that's unripe purple, you just slice it, give it a mark. There is one whitish liquid that comes out that looks like milk in color. That is what we are treating. That particular liquid is highly medicinal, both for poultry and for many other things that I may not discuss here. Let's get started. Please, if you like this content, give it a thumb up just tap like button and drop comment if you don't know how to speak grammar just say thank you for this content because i'm sure you have heard of purple leaf i'm sure you have heard of many other leaves i'm sure you never heard of this particular unripe purple liquid this is exactly what we are treating here right now now first of all let me tell you the chemical content of this unripe purple. Unripe purple or papaya water or the sap extract from the green fruit contains various biotic compounds and chemicals. Here are some of the primary components found in unripe purple water. One is the papain. I have mentioned, I think most of the times I mentioned this papain for you here. In this particular in this particular channel papain this papain is a very strong chemical it is a protolytic enzyme that helps break down protein content of every particular feed making it useful for digestive health it is also medicinal for poultry and livestock animals most especially the feathered birds every feathered bird gains massively from this it is highly medicinal and it can be used to aid digestion and wound healing in poultry and livestock it have also chymopyrpene this is another chemical another strong chemical this is another enzyme just like the papain itself, it helps in digestive process of the protein and has been used in the treatment of a lot of diseases due to its anti-inflammatory properties. Another one is the alkaloid. The unripe purple water contains alkaloid like papain, capain. All this has been noted for its effect in poultry. It cures and handles many infections and treats different ear heads. It also helps in cardiovascular system function through the high doses and due to its toxic nature. You don't need to add too many so that it will not affect your poultry or livestock animals. We're going to discuss that on the comment section. It has flavonoid. These flavonoids are antioxidants that help the neutralization of free radicals, thereby contributing to anti-inflammatory and potentially anti-cancer properties in poultry and livestock animals. It helps also to maintain their body structure intact. It has phenolic compound. 
These phenolic compounds are antioxidants that help in reducing oxidative stress. Most especially your broilers during this heat period, they are going to be stressful and it's going to affect their eating habit. So you can make use of this particular chemical from unripe purple. It helps to drop their stress level and also help in anti-inflammatory effect of your poultry. It also helps them in oxidative stress. When they eat, they need energy to oxidize and convert that feed. So when they are overstressed, the conversion of feed will be affected. So this chemical, this particular chemical, which is natural substance from unripe purple, will help you a lot. It has saponins. Saponins is known for their immune boosting and anti-inflammatory properties. Saponins can also act as neutral cleanser in poultry and livestock. It has vitamins and minerals, small amount of vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin E, and trace minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, and many others are present in this unripe purple water. It has lettuce. The lettuce in unripe purple contains a significant amount of lettuce which can act as an irritant. This lettuce is in the source of papain and chemo pain. It has what we call glucosinolates. These glucosinolates are sulfur compounds that are very potential or effective in prevention of many infections. It helps in boosting their immune structure, making their body and the immune system stronger to resist every type of infection. These compounds give unripe purple a lot of power to fight infections. The medicinal properties making it popular in different organic and natural medicine for treating digestive issues, wound and infections, and a lot of infections in poultry and livestock animals make this particular water very important for every poultry and livestock farmer. What are the infections Popo can handle? As earlier mentioned, we have coccidiosis, we have Samolina, we have avian influenza, Marek disease, Newcastle, chronic respiratory disease, bacterial enteritis, and foul cholera. Now, what are the main medicinal value of this particular unripe purple water for poultry and livestock? The unripe purple contains enzymes and biotic compounds which can provide various health benefits to poultry and livestock. For instance, it has digestive health properties. Because of the papain and chemopepain, all these are enzyme properties that aid digestion in poultry. It has anti-inflammatory properties, which I've earlier mentioned. It has antimicrobial effects. It has immune system boosting structure and wound healing structure also. Now, how do you administer this? Please, I don't want this video to be too long. Use this to treat these infections in poultry. On the comment section, drop your question on how to administer it. I will gladly answer you. Let's stop here. And if you like this particular content, give it a thumb up and ask me on the comment section, I will direct you on how to make use of it. You can see me plucking the, gathering the water from the unripe purple. And here, you can see that we have different sizes, different age, different growth rate of purple here. This is because of the medicinal value found in purple. Even the male purple stem, is also useful in making poultry feed. If you want me to treat that particular content on how to use the male purple stem, male purple stem to develop a very good feed for you, let me know on the comment section. For now, I say bye.